Man, what's up with the collective? Y'all know we back with another banger, another reaction. I appreciate everybody who've been tapping in, running up, and subbing up. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notify whenever we drop them uploads. Y'all know we coming with about four videos every smooth seven, man. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content tap in with this content. But today, Man, Collective, I'm grinding for y'all. So this video is going to be out a little later. Normally, it's around that 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock range. Who knows what time this one going to be done. I'm shooting this at 12 p.m. my time on September 29th. We had some complications, man. The video that was supposed to come out today, it's tripping for whatever reason. I had some clips of Dyer Lane from out here in SAC. I'm gonna try to get those out to y'all. It's gonna be a little bit, maybe during the, during this later in this later seven. But right now, y'all gonna get this video. I'm grinding for y'all. I'm literally shooting it today. I'm gonna put it out to y'all today. Before we get going, I wanna ask if anybody watched the shy. Tell me, am I reaching? Does Nuck look like he's Jordan Lucas? Somebody let me know. To me, Nuck look like Jordan Lucas. Maybe I'm tripping. Spam it up. But y'all already know what it is. I hope y'all having a smooth seven. Shout out to the collective. But I ain't gonna hold you. Let's get straight to the video. Man, let's go. The reason why the media is bombarding us with diddy this and diddy that and interviews, diddy, 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 is because they're trying to distract us from this city-sized object that is barreling towards Earth as we speak. And they know that it's not an asteroid or some type of debris because it course corrected itself. So the that means the trajectory was going one way. And then it was like, oh, nope, Earth is this way. So they know that it is not um, some, you know, random object. No, it's non-human, whatever it is, but it's the size of a city. It's the size of a city. Um, now there are some, there are some speculations. Some people think it's the Anunnaki. Some people say, "Oh no, it's it's just an android or an android, <laughs> an asteroid or something." Or other people say it's some other type of aliens. But yeah, that that's why everything is diddy diddy diddy. Yeah, because because something is coming and um, they don't know what it is. I have a feeling they do know what it is, but they ain't gonna tell us. But yeah, apparently, supposedly they they have no idea what it is. So there's that. Um, in the grand scheme of things, I don't care about Diddy. Diddy, we been knew what Diddy was about. We've been knew Diddy been doing this stuff. Okay, it's not a secret. Um, things are crumbling, which is why all of this uh, judgment is happening. All of this, all the systems and stuff is falling um, because it's over. It's over, y'all. I, like I said, I just want to know when, when can I stop paying my bills? That's that's all I need to know. When can I stop paying rent? <laughs> I got a story to tell. I don't know if y'all going to believe it, but this shit literally just happened to me. So I was out and about. I lost my phone charger, so my phone died. I'm at the store, walking in to go get a new charger. Now, it's not a, like a pre-order or anything like that, right? As soon as I get in there, this lady who, just to describe her, redhead, kind of looked like the star of Jumanji, Ruby Roundhouse. Like, you know, when they transform into the character, the older version? Yeah, um, she knows not only that I need a charger, but what type of phone I need. So I asked her, how, how did you know that? Oh, well, a lot of people been having problems with that phone and the charger lately. I'm like, yeah, okay. So, you know, I'm like, all right, whatever. I just want to get the f*** out and go because I got a lot of shit to do. But then I'm like, yo, that shit really just happened. And it did. And if you think I'm capping, I still haven't opened the wall part to the charger. 
But I'm telling this story because shit like this has kind of been happening a lot lately. And I've been hesitant to talk about it because I'm not doing this for like no cloud and no shit like that. Like I'm literally seeing what the fuck is going on. If you know, you know, because if I say it, they're going to fucking ban me. I, I might be able to curse and stuff like that. But um, if I tell you exactly what y'all know, what I'm describing as, you know, glitches in, in something um, and the actual surveillance. Shit is kind of scary. I'm going to leave it at that, though. Thanks for tuning in. Peace and one love. So yesterday I tried to watch the movie The Front Room and I bought some chips. I'm at work, right? So I buy chips. I'm like, I'm about to eat some chips, watch a movie. When the movie started, nothing happened in the movie, but some reason I lost my appetite. Like every time I would try to eat a chip, I just started feeling so sick. I could not eat them. The movie goes on and I've seen people do reviews and saying how the movie got to be a joke. It can't be for real. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it's not scary how I'm thinking it's going to be scary. That is the most disgusting movie, unnecessarily disgusting movie that I've ever seen in my life. I couldn't even eat my bag of chips. I threw them in the trash. That's how nasty that movie was. And I still don't even understand the point of it. Like, I don't know where they were headed, but once she pulled that stunt in that bed, I was done with the movie. Like, I cut it off, and I was very disappointed. And Brandy can be sure that I don't like her anymore, because why would you agree to that? Anybody seen that movie? Let me know. I ain't seen it, but I want to know why it's disgusting. I, I might have to check it out. I, I just might have to. I, I, I'm the person that I got to go. I got to go test it. I got to go look. I got to go do it. Not all the time, but if it's a movie, it's scary, or it's wild, I got to check it out. The Truman Show that he talking about, like, you know, he feels like he in the Truman Show. I I remember when we first started this channel, I had never seen the movie. Thanks to y'all. Thanks to the collective. Man, I wouldn't have known. Y'all was spamming it up in the comments, bro. It's the Truman Show. Bro, we in the Truman Show. One day, I just decided to watch it, and it did not disappoint. And now, I can see certain things is very similar to a Truman Show. Y'all can agree to this. I could agree to this, because y'all put me on it. So, it's just crazy. It's just crazy, and the Diddy situation, yeah, it is a distraction. But it don't, hey, but but it's still some victims that he hit. It's still some people that he affected. That was like, man, you gotta get that story out. You gotta tell the whole truth. We jumped on R. Kelly ass, but we gotta get the dealer too. It's simple, bro. And saying the general population, you know that ain't gonna happen. But no PC for bro. Saying the general population. Okay, we have another series on our hands. We are all going to have to sit and listen to these stories. There is a man claiming to have had a conversation with a Bigfoot. I know. We're going to listen to his stories. We're going to comment in the comment section what we think. And we'll take it from there. <laughs> now, you all know that I do my commentary throughout the stories in the content that I put out so I may say some things here and there but for the most part this is his story these are his words this is his account on what happened to him and the conversations that he had with a Bigfoot hey I had a brief conversation with a Bigfoot don't let them lie to you these things can talk so I didn't know what else to do. So I passed him the blood. Here. Hey, he started talking like one of us. This dude just was like, man, I'm just tired. I'm like, what you tired of? He was like, I'm sick of these people chasing us, looking for us. We see them setting up their cameras. They act like we don't see them setting up their trail cameras and all that. I'm like, man, I feel you. He was like, one day we just going to snatch somebody up. I was like, dude, I can't wait to see that on one of these shows. I'm just saying. And then he started talking about how uh, he was created in a lab. Uh, the scientist that created him looked just like me. He was like uh, all the other races and all that is his brothers and sisters, and they was all created after him. The 
Chinese people was created before the white man was created and they was created last. And I was just like, what the? Bro, what are you talking about? And he was just like, you know, people that look like you, they not you. He was like, just beware. And then he just walked off. A bit much, but we're going to keep on moving forward so we can get a better understanding on this conversation that you had with this Bigfoot. Let's keep rolling. So basically, I was just chilling when the Bigfoot walked up to me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so he walks off. I go back to Spark the Bun and I noticed that he took it. So I'm like, yo, chased him down. He was not too far. And it was like he wanted me to follow him. So he was like, dude, I'm going to show you something. He was like, but you can never bring nobody here. And he touched the tree and the tree opened. He touched the tree and the tree opened. We went inside the tree. It was a whole village of Bigfoots, baby Bigfoots, female Bigfoots. I'm talking about massive Bigfoots. It was like some Wakanda stuff. It's there, but you don't even know that it's there. I'm seeing all kind of stuff. Hey, these are not just, you think they're just some creatures or whatever the situation may be. These things, these beings are heavenly advanced. Okay. They were the first to be created. They were too big. They were too strong. So they needed to slim them down. And that's when they started creating humans. This is what this dude is telling me. He was like, we've seen the anger of man at its finest. That's why we always just, we in and out. Because we know what they want to do to us. And they don't even know that we are there brothers basically i'm like but how did y'all learn english good point part two it is hey man that's one of the dopest clips we have came across hey who with them and who against them i'm with them but i know one thing for certain and two things for sure i'm not gonna be afraid of a damn bigfoot because they probably can read your energy on top of that, he gonna make me want to go touch trees and shit. <laughs> I just want to start touching trees, opening one of them, open up or something. Hey, but if you with, is you with them or is you against them? Everybody free today on opinion. I just wanted to be respectful, but I, I like that story. I want to hear a part two. I want to hear a part two. I was not expecting that story to go there. That's some dope shit right there. The most powerful spell casting tools that people use to cast spells on people. The definition of suggestion is the idea or plan put forward for consideration. Most people don't know that the first spell that was casted on humans was suggestion when a serpent suggested Eve to eat the apple. And that same practice is still used to this day. And you see this spell casting tool used all the time. Let's get some good examples on how the power of suggestion works. You know how people could be in a happy home and then their friends suggest to them, hey, all men ain't nothing, so let's do him wrong. All women the same, so let's go cheat. Not knowing that you just got a spell put on you. Or how some mothers be like, oh, you ain't ish. You're going to be just like your father. And then lo and behold, he turned out just like his father. Or when certain people come playing negative seeds inside of your head, yeah, they using the power of suggestion. Oh, and I almost forgot, humans are not the only ones that use the power of suggestion. Before you act upon one of these seven deadly sins, it came from a suggestion. The law of mentalism. And we just seen this all our life, but we never really knew what it was. And just how the lower vibration can use the law of suggestion, so can the high vibrational entities use the law of suggestion. Say, fist this God tell you I shouldn't be going to this party. But then something else tell you you should go to the party. Then something happens. It was a... Eating 
angels will come amongst us and few will be able to recognize them for what they are. Some will come for great good and some will come for the darkest evil. Hey, check out these incredible ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics and sculptures that seem to suggest a fascinating coexistence with extraterrestrial beings. The ancient Egyptians didn't just worship their gods, they appear to be thankful for some form of assistance from the alien species as depicted in these carvings. In various hieroglyphs we see images of what appear to be UFOs, and in others we see advanced technologies like light bulbs and hints of access to electricity. Remarkably, some of these depictions resemble helicopters and speedboats, technology that we have been told almost certainly didn't exist at the time. Is it possible that ancient Egyptians had access to this technology and maybe had help from beyond this world? But that's not all. As we examine not just Egypt, but other ancient civilizations around the world, the plot thickens. Civilizations that were never supposed to have communicated with each other all share similar depictions. Drawings of shapes and patterns. Now these patterns weren't just for random decoration. They were likely caused by harnessing kinetic energy, vibration and sound. Structures were designed to incorporate these energy flows as if ancient civilizations were using sound and frequencies in ways we were only beginning to rediscover. So were ancient civilizations more advanced than we were led to believe? And did they have help from beyond our planet? You let me know what you think in the comments. Fallen demons and angels, huh? Yeah. It's back. It keeps peeking in here at me. Oh my goodness gracious, what the hell? <laughs> Ain't nobody in the other room. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got oh my pistol's in the other room. I can't do it. What the hell is that? Oh my gosh. It keeps. Hello. What do you need? I don't even know who you are. This house is haunted. There's something in the other room. Look at that. What is that? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Oh, hell no. What the hell is that? Not mistaken, there was a video I did have of her. And it was something moving back and forth in the wall behind the door. Like she had a crack, but you could see something going back and forth. But I think that I cut that out and didn't it didn't make like the video. I ended up chopping it when I was editing because I felt like it was pointless. Now that I don't feel like it's pointless. That right there is dope. That's that's worthy of hitting the channel. But it's like, what the hell is that? It looked like it could be a creature. No, like it'd be like a humanoid figure or nothing. It's some type of creature though. Y'all let me know. Y'all seen that clip before? Which y'all? Hey. Spam it up with y'all ideas is. For me, it's some type of creature, but how I get there, why is she so calm? <laughs> and if she got a dog, why the dog ain't going up in there finding out what's what unless the dog can pick up on the energy and know it ain't nothing to play with? Spam it up, let me know what y'all think, click. I need you guys to explain this to me. That's a f blast radius, right? And watch the center of your screen. Keep an eye on it. Yeah, that right there. Life. That's a mushroom cloud. So can somebody please explain to me what the f did they just drop on Lebanon? How there's advantages of actually burying someone in your backyard. Yeah. And you said something about it when Trump buried his ex-wife in his backyard. Yes. It got rid of all the liens. 
Absolutely. Not just that. Hell, it's way beyond just liens. You don't owe any property tax forever. Never. Ever again. This is why they just found out that this whole hoax that went viral about Elvis Presley in the state. Did you see that? No. It's impossible. You can't go bankrupt with Graceland. You can't, you, maybe the business part of it, but the property will always remain with the family because of the burial site. It, it, it completely grandfathers it in. So you actually will ever, never owe property tax on the entire property forever. Forever. You will also- In, in every state? Yes, in the wait, United wait, States wait. of so, America. So if I put a dead body in my backyard, anyone, right? Any dead body? Your family. Only my family. Got to be your family. Okay, so I kill somebody. All right. <laughs> who do, who do I don't, who do you have I to be dislike? related to them so that you have the tie to them. Very interesting. Y'all ever wonder why we don't see videos from China anymore? What they got going on over here, yo? Look at that shit. I just want to let y'all know that this is from a surveillance camera in China, yo. You feel me? This is crazy. It's some Star Trek shit. And then there's this other one of a little plane that was flying past and a little hat-like UFO flew past that John. Hold on. We're going to take it back. Look, y'all going to be able to see that John. It kind of reminds you of the thing that Goku was flying in. You feel me? Look at that shit. That shit is crazy. Someone else caught a UFO right next to their plane, yo. Look at this shit. Look what it do, yo. That shit's scary. Wake Damn. Yo, yo what the f is a car? It's a car on the train track. A car on the train car in the train track. Yeah. So I had to like cut some of that before the impact. But supposedly it was a young lady in a car with her baby. And I don't know what the case was and why she didn't move. But she didn't move from out of the train tracks. I don't know where that's at. Y'all got to let me know if y'all heard about that story. If she made it or if she didn't. If the baby made it or if the baby didn't. That's crazy. That's traumatizing. That shit's crazy. I don't know the circumstances, but yeah, y'all let me know. That's wild. But I had to trim some of that out. So the part where the train comes and smacks the car, I could not show that. I can only show, you know, before and after. Why do you have a bird? Why do you want to catch you? Let me have the bird. Yeah, yeah. I have the bird. But, uh, I gotta, have the you bird. Be I know how to hold the bird. Let go of the bird. Yeah. Okay. So you want to show the... No, the, the bird is not your bird. We just found a new spot. This wasn't here. And it's right in the front near the bridge, but back in so you wouldn't be able to see it. So we're just walking in now for the first time. Here, look. Feathers. And then look, happy Father's Day. Boxes. <laughs> oh, what the f I'm scared. <laughs> what? 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 What?
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need Eric's help for this. Uh, I'm not gonna do this. Hey, y'all remember some of them clips early on the channel? What's the most demonic city on earth? The most demonic city on earth. Literally, is where the most high God chose to wake me up for three years. Literally, portals, whatever, anything you can name, any fallen angel, whatever you can name, uh, the unseen, the physical manifestations of the unseen. Most number one demonic city on earth, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Yes, I am exposing you. Is where the most high God brought me to to chose to wake me up and reveal the entire kingdom of darkness, the entire unseen. Enemy. Not figuratively, literally. It's also where I got proof that the most high God is actually real with palpable, tangible, unadulterated proof. It's also where. Uh, the most I showed me that Satan is absolutely real. He's controlling this earth now. Number one city on earth, hands down. There's a reason why they got NORAD there, the Air Force Academy, Fort Carson, which is where I was. Uh, there's a reason why you got all these, every single governmental agency is in Colorado Springs. I promise you. Number one demonic city on earth, Colorado Springs, Colorado. All praise to the most high. Now, it's, it's, it's Colorado Springs, ground zero. It's the whole, it's the whole state, quite frankly. Look at DIA, Denver International Airport, and all of the, the Illuminati symbolisms and demonic symbol. The whole state is demonic. It's just that Colorado Springs is ground zero. You got uh, Manitou Springs, which is right next door to Colorado Springs, the, the witch capital of the world, literally. It's where I've actually battled witches and warlocks, actually, like not figured to literally every single day for three years straight. So the whole state, but Colorado Springs, Colorado is the number one demonic, most demonic city on earth. I don't care what they tell you. And you got other high level demonic cities, but Colorado Springs is number one. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Oh yeah, for the Christians who may come on here thinking I'm a part of their white tea Jesus cult, black Americans are the real children of Israel, the real Jews from the same tribe as Jesus Christ. All praise to the Most High. I am a Jew. I am not a Gentile. But I want to hear his stories, though. He made a he made he made a he made a statement. He said Colorado Springs is the most demonic space. I want to know why he says that. That's what I want to know. I want to know why he says it. What did you see? What do you know? But you made a vague ass statement, bro. And I want to hear more in depth of that. But how y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Y'all agreeing with him? Y'all disagreeing with him? And he gonna ruffle some feathers based off his opinion on certain things. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Respectfully. But I know he made it to the end of this. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notify whenever we drop them uploads. I know we coming with about four videos every smooth seven, man. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. When you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content, tap in with this content. But even if you ain't subbed up and you just like coming to the channel or whatever the case is, I appreciate you as well, man. I hope you having a smooth seven too. Today wasn't as long as a video as y'all would like. We had some technical difficulties. I told y'all early when we first started this. But I got y'all, man. Trust me. I got y'all. But I ain't gonna hold you. Until I see y'all in the next one, y'all know what it is. We gone.